Hello everyone and welcome! For those that are new here, my name is Elvira, I'm a fashion and beauty influencer from Geneva. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram account, this is where I post most of my daily content. Today we are in Cannes and I can't believe I'm filming this. This is a major pinch me moment because we are here for my very first Cannes Film Festival experience. Our sponsor Campari flew us in this morning and we just checked in as a GW Marriott which is splendidly located on La Croisette right in front of the Hermes boutique I think I can see it from my room. How practical is that? The program for the next couple of days is intense, but I know that we'll be creating memories that will last a lifetime. I mean, Cannes Film Festival is a red carpet. That's been a dream of mine for as long as I can remember. I used to see all those beautiful dresses on all those beautiful people in magazines, so being here today feels unreal. I have some of my shoes lined up here. You already know these little Jimmy shoes that I unpacked in another video. I have my two pairs of Amina Muadis. I think I'm going to wear this one tonight. And I also have my Saint Laurent heels. These are honestly some of the most comfortable heels I have. And these are the small bags I have. I'm going to go for this little Dior pochette for tonight and probably the Cartier pochette for tomorrow night. Right now we're going to grab a quick lunch before heading to the Dior Suite at Le Majestic Hotel for a glam session before tonight's event. Let's go! Such a cool atmosphere, I'm so happy to be here. Good thing to know is that every restaurant that has a beach access is super full during lunch time and I honestly didn't know that. I thought that it was like very chill and cool but during the Cancun festival obviously it's super busy and we still got very lucky we are at Plage Goelon although they are super full they still found us a table because we told them that we won't be staying long that we'll just have a little lunch our little trip starts well Sweet Dior, here we come. I removed my entire makeup for the makeup, obviously. Oh wait, this is fun. We are leaving the hotel and in front of our hotel there is like a huge amount of people that are waiting for stars to arrive and their expression when they see us, like normal people, uh, they're like... Uh. <laughs> okay, sorry, I got sucked in into the vibe because apparently a star was coming behind me and they were all like... Get out of the way. <laughs> Here we are in the Majestic. Fun fact, this is the price for the Christian Dior suite per night. It is so beautiful here. I'm feeling like extra grateful for the mise en beauté I'm going to have. When it comes to my makeup, I'm not super complicated, but I know what I want and I know exactly what I don't want. I usually ask for no curl because it makes my eyes look small, no eyeliner, only uh, beige tones for the eyeshadows, no black, bold eyebrows and bold lips. having a major glam moment, Sasha here, she's from Ukraine, she's doing my hairstyle in Aya, Hi. she's from Japan, she's doing my makeup. Very slick, just like I asked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Could get used to this, really. Like, <laughs> back into my room, and honestly, so many emotions like this Dior suite, which is super iconic during the Cannes Film Festival. It, was, it made such an impression on me because I've only seen it on pictures and being there, getting that celeb treatment, it really was amazing. I, I never actually had like the makeup and the hair done at the same time. So I think that the first 10 minutes I was completely lost. They were like turning my head everywhere and I was like, 
But yeah, you can really sense that they are super professional. I used to work under pressure. I used to do like amazing hairstyles and amazing makeups very, very quickly. I'm feeling super grateful for my Dior Switzerland team for organizing this because that was truly a one of a kind experience. Now we have a bit of free time. I'll get dressed. This is my dress for tonight. It looks a bit like a bubble gum, a pink bubble gum. Your girl is ready. This is my first dress for tonight. And I'm in love with this dress. It is from a brand called The Bar. And it is a bit transparent, but not totally see-through. I'm wearing my coolest Amina Muadi heels. I bought these in Milan a while ago. Really like them. Let's go! what I call a very cool setting. Okay, let's call it a night. We had an amazing time with Campari and now we're going to bed because tomorrow we have another super busy day. It's actually quite difficult to access our auto because of all the people that are waiting for stars. <laughs> Can't wait for my bed! Good morning everyone! Day 2 here in Cannes and what a better way to start the day than at a Nespresso a la plage stand. As some of you may know, I've been working with Nespresso for 4 years now. We've been to Colombia together, we've had plenty of adventures together, but I never attended to do Nespresso La Plage event and our hotel is right in front of the location, so we decided to pass by and have a little look and it just looks super cool. Coffee colada to start the day. Looks amazing. Good. Like I should. <laughs> okay, 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 we're back to the hotel room and something happened. So, the red carpet is tonight and I planned four dresses for the event. The reason why I planned four dresses is because I like them. I like the four of them, but I didn't love any of them, like 100%. So I decided to take them all and just decide last moment what will be the vibe for the event. How? Last moment, a friend of mine based here in Monaco, an Ukrainian designer called Yasi Minochkina, delivered me an incredible couture dress, a one-of-a-kind dress. There is only one in the world and it fits me perfectly, as if it was made for me. I will be wearing this dress tonight. I feel like in a fairy tale right now. I just cannot wait to show it to you because it is stunning. We decided to visit Saint Laurent to purchase some shoes because, let me explain you, my new dress is very long and, well, I could wear it with my other heels, but it won't look that premium, so I decided to purchase some platform shoes. And I honestly never wear platform shoes and now I'm wondering why, because these are like super comfortable and they also look very cool. We were here, Charles also decided to try on some shoes and his look very cool, so let me show you. <laughs> yeah, they're super cool. Everything at Saint Laurent is so gorgeous. Like, look at this dress. Honestly, one day, one day I'll be able to afford this. Hey, daddy! <laughs> Just removed all my makeup and I'm now waiting for the team that will do my hair and makeup to arrive. I can't wait because this is just not the right red carpet face. I think today I'll go for a similar makeup than yesterday and for the hair I wanted to do something with my hair a bit up like at the back. These are my jewels for tonight. They are from Bulgari and 
as per usual with this kind of items these are of course borrowed Boulder expects me to hand them back at the moment I land in Geneva so of course these are not mine but how preciously gorgeous <music> First time applying fake eyelashes. <laughs> uh, I'm super scared <laughs> because I heard horrible stories, but yeah, I have to curl your lashes also first. Have you ever done? <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, look down. The result is super stunning. Thank you, Erica. I love it. And look how good it looks with the Bulgari earrings. I feel like I'm ready to go. Now waiting for Charles. I'm always waiting for Charles actually. Charles is never ready before me. We are now ready, waiting for our car that will bring us to the Manistic Hotel. Where we'll have a little drink and then we'll head for the red carpet. So, on the red carpet, we're not allowed to take pictures, we're not allowed to film. Hopefully, I will still get some pictures to share with you. Like, honest impression, I'm super, super scared. I'm just afraid I won't get any picture of this dress. So, we took some pictures at the hotel that I love, of course, share on my Instagram account. But still, you know, it's, it's very stressful not to be in control of your content when you're a content creator, obviously. I'm very scared for this, but it's really a dream coming true. We are now all in lines waiting for our cars. We each have a different car, and if we leave the car before arriving to the carpet, we are not going to the carpet at all. So we... <laughs> this is a bit strange, it's a bit weird. That's very impressive. dress it took Yasiminoshkin's team more than 300 hours to hand embroider all of these fur of stones onto the dress. I got my phone back. We are now at the hotel after watching the movie and getting to the red carpet. I opened my dress a bit because, oh my gosh, it feels so good. <laughs> like, it's definitely one of the most beautiful dresses I ever worn, but it is super heavy. I weighed it and it weighs three kilos. Three. Three kilos. Okay, so let me just give you my impressions from this very first red carpet. It was super stressful and it wasn't at all like I imagined it would be. So we were in the car and we each had a different car as I showed you. And the security watched every car and we couldn't leave the car uh, until we reached the red carpet. And when we arrived at the red carpet, we had to actually queue and people would tell us when to go on the carpet. The first thing I noticed and kind of shocked me is how small the red carpet is. I actually thought it would be like super long, but it's only a couple of meters long and then you have the step. So the whole experience, it all lasted about two minutes. It was super quick. It was like this, really. And I was taking baby steps because I wanted it to last as long as possible. But at some point they're like, yeah, woman, you have to move. We arrived at the top of the steps and then we watched the movie. We watched this movie called Les Amondiers. This is how the tickets for the Festival de Cannes look like, in case you've been wondering. Oh my gosh, such a crazy first experience. I am absolutely tired after this, but I'm also very, very hungry. So we are going to now change our clothes because I want to dress into something a bit more casual. <laughs> well, it will be shiny, sparkly, but it will still be more casual than this amazing gown. And then we'll be heading for dinner. 
So I changed my outfit, going for this sparkly dress with my little blue bag, and I still am still wearing my Bulgari jewelry. It's such a beautiful match. Because we have a bit of free time now, and by free time I mean we have 30 minutes before the shuttle comes to pick us up for the dinner, we decided to come here by the sea to shoot my new Bulgari fragrance campaign. Definitely taking advantage of this beautiful makeup and of the fact that I have beautiful Bulgari jewels on me. Let's do it before it gets too dark. Dreamy is this French courtyard. This is where the event is taking place. Dinner setting is so pretty too. Looks yummy. That's it for my Cancun Festival vlog. Obviously, this was so memorable, so many good memories. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. See you soon for new adventures.